True success is not in the learning, but in its application to the benefit of mankind. For Thailand, non-communicable diseases (NCDs) are a major health problem that all relevant sectors have been aware of and attached importance to it continually until today. At present, efforts for addressing the problem focus on multi-sectoral collaboration to ensure efficient, timely, and integrated actions that will lead to learning towards people's well-being. Multidisciplinary approaches for personalizing holistic care for diabetes and stroke. s i r i r a t Hospital. This is s i r i r a t Hospital under the Faculty of Medicine, s i r i r a t Hospital, Mahidol University, where another lesson has been learned about resolving the problem of non-communicable diseases, or NCDs, in Thailand. The hospital is a tertiary care facility and part of a medical school of the country. NCD เนี่ยเป็นโรคที่สัมพันธ์กับการใช้ชีวิต Professor Doctor Prasid Watanapa, Dean, Faculty of Medicine, s i r i r a t Hospital. NCDs are related to people's lifestyles, so providing healthcare for the people's needs to cover all four aspects: health promotion, disease prevention. Medical treatment and rehabilitation. At s i r i r a t Hospital, we deal with all such dimensions and would like you to see how we manage such common diseases that are global problems, involving technical studies and knowledge application for serving society as per our established determination. Today is another day that the diabetes care experience at s i r i r a t Hospital. Has been developed and shown at the opening ceremony of the Sirat Diabetes Center of Excellence. Originally in the year 2000, a diabetes central unit was established, and later in 2005, the unit became Sirat Diabetes Center. Today, the center has been certified as Sirat Diabetes Center of Excellence. One of the 11 centers of excellence under the Faculty of Medicine, s i r i r a t Hospital, whose vision is supporting diabetes patients to live a life of well-being. The center's mission includes service, education, and research, undertaken through collaboration with other relevant units of s i r i r a t Hospital, in providing all aspects of medical care to diabetes patients. In providing medical services to diabetes patients, based on the patient-centered approach, we place emphasis on knowledge provision, skill creation, diabetes self-management, diabetes complication assessment, fundus photography, foot assessment, and nutrition counseling. Such services aim to change the patient's behaviors by giving suitable advice through individual and group counseling. Meanwhile, the patient's referral system has been developed so that coordinated medical services can be rendered by relevant units in the hospital. As for educational activities, the s i r a t Diabetes Center is involved in the teaching and learning of medical students, residents, and foreign doctors, visitors on study visits. Upon completion of their study or training at the center. The doctors will be able to transmit the knowledge and skills related to diabetes self-management to others. Moreover, the center also organizes short training courses for medical personnel and develops suitable educational media or materials for diabetes patients in Thailand. Concerning research, the center encourages knowledge sharing among diabetes-related research and service agencies, aiming to develop practical procedures. What is being done today occurs every year, developing a technical and research database in a systematic manner for dissemination and application in response to changing situations. ส่วนหนึ่งเป็นเรื่องของพฤติกรรม Associate Professor Dr. Supawadi Likit Matkun, 
Chairperson, Siridad Diabetes Center of Excellence. Therefore, it is very important to have the knowledge about diabetes care for self-management, for balanced livelihood of each individual patient, and for all human beings in this world. The focus of this center is well-being and well-balanced diabetes. So, it is up to each patient to create his or her own well-being and well-balanced conditions that will lead to a balance for treating other diseases. All of these efforts lead to collaborations among all domestic and international diabetes agencies that work towards a decrease in the number of NCD patients in the country in the future. What we are seeing now is a simulation of real-life situations and actual working conditions of staff at the Srirat Stroke Center. It has shown that stroke is a silent danger that every sector has to realize its importance and then pay attention to the improvement of the referral system for stroke patients to get access to medical assistance as fast as possible, as every second is the time of life. Associate Professor Dr. Yong Chai Nilanon, Chairperson, Sidirat Stroke Center. We have developed two important systems. First, patient transport and referral, taking the patient to the hospital as fast as possible while providing medical treatment en route. Using Sidirat's mobile stroke unit and ambulance with CT scanning and stroke medication services. Second, treatment team system development upon arrival at the hospital. We have in place a stroke fast track system. So, service steps at every unit have been minimized and faster, leading to an immediate and efficient medical treatment. This is the mobile stroke unit, or mobile CT ambulance with medical equipment and personnel that are ready to provide medical assistance while the patient is being transported to the hospital. The ambulance also has a system for communicating with a stroke expert waiting at the hospital. Mobile stroke unit. All concerned have jointly set up a referral system so that emergency notifications can be done more timely and the emergency medical service or rescue team can go into the patient's house to take him or her to the mobile CT ambulance waiting at the designated petrol station. In the ambulance, the mobile medical team can provide preliminary care while taking the patient to Sidunat Hospital. The project service areas are those that do not have any health facility that can provide complex stroke medical care. Sa'at Tongbai is an example of patients who has received mobile stroke service. Today, she is visiting the Sirurat Stroke Center for follow-up care. Sa'at Tongbai, a stroke patient. At the hospital, the doctor said I was lucky to have arrived at the hospital timely. If I had arrived much later, I would not have survived. I can simply say that this disease is most dangerous. I would like to thank the doctor and his team. I agree 100% on having this kind of ambulance as the illness is very dangerous. After the patient has entered the regular medical service system, he or she will be taken care of by the medical care team, comprising doctors, nurses, and other multidisciplinary professionals on a continual basis. At present, the collaborative services have been extended to other public, private, and civil society agencies in accordance with the plan to expand the service area coverage. The center is ready to serve as a model for expanding and raising technical, research, and medical care expertise for stroke services. As the NCD problem exists in the community, having a local health care facility is a way to tackle the problem. This is a primary care unit, or PCU, 
of Sidirat Hospital, providing medical and health services to the people under the Universal Health Care UHC scheme. Every morning before providing medical services, a health education session is held for service recipients so that they know more about health care and disease prevention. At this facility, medical services are provided using both modern and applied Thai traditional medical principles in all aspects of health promotion, disease prevention, curative care, and rehabilitation for NCD patients. Associate Professor Dr. Prawit Akara Serinon, Chairperson, Center of Applied Thai Traditional Medicine, Faculty of Medicine, Sirirat Hospital. At the Primary Care Unit, PCU, Applied Thai Traditional Medical Practitioners will provide services in collaboration with modern medical doctors in certain health aspects. For health promotion and rehabilitation purposes, we will give advice on self-help based on the applied Thai traditional medical principles. Beside providing medical examination and treatment at the PCU every morning, there is a multidisciplinary team comprising a doctor, a nurse, and other multidisciplinary professionals making home visits to NCD patients in the community. The team follows up on medical and rehabilitative care for such patients. Today, they visit stroke patients and the principles of applied Thai traditional medicine are used for the patients and caregivers. As the service areas of Sirirat's PCU are urban communities in the capital city, some are near a healthcare facility, but some have health disparities with different levels of understanding about NCDs. It is thus necessary to make home visits in such complex communities. Dr. Gorapat Mayura Sakon, lecturer and PCU family physician. Providing health care services is similar no matter where the patients live. Medical treatment does not end at the hospital, rather it continues to the patient's home. After treatment, we closely follow up on the patient's health conditions, especially preventable illnesses. We have found that home visit services can decrease illness or morbidity rates. This is another role of Sidirat Hospital, realizing the importance of social dimension, community, and the environment, as they may cause non-communicable diseases. Learning for disease prevention is thus important for Thai society. The most important key success factor for global well-being is the term collaboration. When we talk about collaboration, we mean we need to share and learn our experience with open-minded. Everyone feel comfortable to present to others to know the failure that they have done and how to prevent it and how to solve it. By this way, well, we work together for the benefit of global population. It's not individual country, but global population. Collaboration is the key.